Look who's up from his nap. <laughs> he loves playing with his broomstick. We moved camps yesterday. Uh, we were in a camp closer to Pisa. It was a great location and it was only 15 euros per night. And this one is more expensive, but it's only four kilometers from downtown Florence. <coughs> We do have better Wi-Fi here, which is really important for us. It does cost 28 euros per night, but it's still for all three of us, and it's showers and hot water and everything included. So if the alternative was renting on Airbnb, this is still a lot cheaper. So we have a good setup here, and today we have kind of a slow day. Tomorrow we are actually going out to film a house tour. It's a tree glass house that's pretty close to Florence and I'm really excited about that but that means that we're gonna have quite a kind of a slow day today so we might pop up to Piazza Michel Michelangelo and look at the view over the city and then there's a market that we might check out and we need to do some grocery shopping but yeah we'll see trying to have a slow Monday here and all of the museums are closed on Mondays anyway so there's not a lot of stuff museum wise that we could do today but I'm gonna show you our little setup here and then we're probably gonna head out to Piazza Michelangelo so this is our setup we have the awning out to give shade and then right here we have a little outdoor kitchen uh, then we have Max's strollers over here and they can be covered during the night and we have a little plastic rock area so he doesn't need all the rocks so far it's been working out great and we moved it yesterday and it was really fast for us I think it took us 20 minutes to pack up everything and then it took us about 20 minutes half an hour to set everything up again so that is very doable today we took a short drive into Florence and we found this market called San Ambrosio market Yep. It's a really good alternative to the San Lorenzo market, which is really popular and stuffed with tourists. So this is the local one, and we're going to try and find a local sandwich with some really disgusting intestines and stuff. <laughs> I'm up for the challenge. Yeah, it'd probably be awesome. Outside there's a lot of uh, clothes and stuff, so let's try and check it out inside. There should be food in there, and I'm hungry. homemade ravioli looks so amazing and if we were heading home right now I would buy some for dinner tonight but we might have to come back and do that another afternoon but it looks so good I have no idea what I ordered but it looks like yellow lasagna it's definitely pasta it's good it tastes like pasta with some cheese and a lot of pesto. Other than that, I have no idea, but it's creamy and good. Mm. He's so funny when he eats and he likes it, then he starts kicking his feet. <laughs> Look at these tomatoes. I think this is a cucumber. I'm not completely sure, but I'll take a chance. <laughs> some vegetables let's head to the car and then up to the Piazza Michelangelo because I'm ready for a good view I don't 
shop a lot when we're out traveling, but we did get rid of our red wine glasses a few years ago when we were downsizing and we've always meant to get like just two or three or four really nice glasses when we were traveling. So I'm always looking for crystal wine glasses, but I haven't found the perfect ones yet, so I'll keep looking, but it's nice to have stuff like that that you're looking for when you're out at a market so there's something you can actually buy if you find the perfect thing so it's kind of fun great local area definitely check it out and I saw some of the things in this market and they were only like 10 euros for a crystal glass so it's definitely local prices too so check it out if you're ever here we are visiting Elena Bartel today and it is amazing it is a farm that her family uh, have owned the past 38 years and they live in community so they have renovated all of farmhouses to now be houses and apartments so they live right now eight people here so it's her parents some other people that are like plus 40 then it's her her husband their daughter uh, two other people singles and her brother <laughs> so it's a really good mix of everything and this is a really good chance for me to get into what is it, like the real Tuscany because I love visiting uh, locals that actually live in a certain place and this is amazing I love the buildings I love the flowers I love everything about it so I'll use some of the clips to show you guys on my one girl but if you want to see the amazing glass tree house. Then you're gonna have to skip over to go downsize <laughs> to see that one. But I'll link it up here when it's live. I think this is probably just a tool shed, but it looks so cute. I would love to live here. <laughs> get here out in the country yeah it's really quiet and nice makes us sleeping beautifully around the corner and very relaxing Piazza Michelangelo and it's one of the best viewpoints of downtown Florence. Let's go Max! What do you think Max? You like the view? Pretty, right? This is one of the things that I was looking forward to most about going back to Florence because I remember being here with my sister in 2008 and it was just so magical and I loved the view. So I'm really happy to be able to share this with Morten and Max. <laughs> There's so many people here, but it's kind of funny because it's the edge and everyone's standing along the edge. But then there's this big square in the middle and the cars can't park there, but they're not really using it for anything either. So it's just kind of funny area, but the view, you can't beat the view.
I love how you have the city right over there on that side of the Arno River. And then over here you can actually see the wall and I think that's where the king's castle used to be. So that was probably walled in. And then right outside the wall, it's completely green. It's like a ravine or something. And it is beautiful. It's just green, lush, beautiful Tuscan landscape right there next to the city. That's it for Piazza Michelangelo, guys. We're heading home to the campsite to get some dinner and have a restful evening. So we'll see you guys next time. Bye.